question of the day. What do I carry with me while I'm out here ski boarding? Good morning, everyone. Back with another episode of Stuff and Things. It's about seven o'clock in the morning, and right now I am at Keystone in Colorado. We're gonna be doing some ski boarding today. Now, to go along with this video, I wanted to sort of throw in the topic of EDC while skiing. It sounds kind of strange, but I get a lot of people asking me what I carry with me when I ski, and honestly, it's not a whole lot. Typically, I don't like to wear a backpack because it sort of throws your weight off balance, and when you're ski boarding, your balance really has to be on point. If you're sliding rails or hitting jumps and stuff like that, it's just best to not have anything on your back at all. Now, with that being said, I typically carry a few items. Phone, wallet, keys, all in my pockets, and then for the most part, I have some tools to adjust my bindings if I need to while I'm out riding. And then occasionally, I will have some type of food, snacks, like a snack pocket, and hydration. So I came across this product on Instagram and I decided we're gonna give it a shot today. This is coming from a company who's actually here in Colorado in Steamboat Springs and they are known as Slope Mountain Gear. Now this sort of looks like a small backpack here but it's actually a chest pack. They call this their Pro 180X and you literally wear it right like this. It has shoulder straps and then this piece that runs along your back. This is a pack that you can use for pretty much anything whether you're hiking, biking, all sorts of outdoor activities but I think it's gonna be great for skiing because it's a chest pack. When you're sitting on a lift, you're not gonna have that big bulge on your back sort of like pushing you off of the chair lift. So this thing is gonna be riding up front with me today and I'm gonna sort of load it out with the typical things that I carry. So you literally just throw it over your head like that and of course I'm gonna be wearing my jacket, but you cinch down that strap and it's pretty like slim and low profile. On the bottom here is a little pocket where I will probably put my camera gear because that's another thing that I don't ski without. You can put hand warmers, batteries and stuff in here. These side pockets here actually pass all the way through and it's sort of like fleece lined. This pack actually came with a foldable water bottle but I somehow misplaced it somewhere. I don't know if it's at my office or where it might be so I can literally just take bottles of water throw them in the front there. And then probably the pocket that I'm going to use most, you got this big fold out pocket here. It's got a cell phone pocket right in the front so you can drop it down and look at trail maps, look at your ski tracks or whatever, check out your elevation, top speed, things like that. You can clip your keys onto this little carabiner right here. And I guess I could also throw my wallet in that front pocket there. So that whole thing zips up and it stays off of my back, which is nice. Now I'm gonna wait a second for my friends to show up and then we've got a pretty solid day of riding ahead of us. It snowed maybe eight to 10 inches last night. It's gonna be a pow day and we're gonna put this thing to the test. impression of the slope pro 180x pack i've done about three or four runs now and it honestly goes pretty much unnoticed since the weight of everything here is in my front 
and I'm typically riding hunched over like this right here, it just kind of follows the flow of your body. It's like I've just been eating a bunch. Really easy to put on, even with my helmet. It's got a little clip over here, throw it over your head, clip it up, cinch it down, and you're good to go. Another perk of the pack is that it's been keeping me warm. It's pretty cold out here today. I think it was about 15 when I was reading it down in the parking lot. So I can imagine on a spring day, if you're rocking a hoodie or something, this will keep your front torso pretty warm. One downside though, is that if you're wearing a jacket, it's gonna be hard to unzip it. Luckily today, that is not the case. Let's run down through these trees here real quick and then I'll give you a rundown of everything that I'm carrying in the pack. All right, guys, so this is what I'm rocking currently in the pack. On the lower half here, tools, business cards, YouTube cards. Get the word out about the YouTube channel, the sport, fix my bindings. It's all good. In the main pocket here, typically carrying this camera on a monopod. Fits nice. Keeps it nice and warm, too, because cameras tend to freeze up when you're riding in the super cold. Water bottle, not frozen which is a nice touch. Yesterday I was riding with a water bottle in my jacket pocket and it completely froze. And then this pouch right here, probably my favorite. Cell phone, looks like we've done about 5,000 feet so far, 43.9 miles per hour. It's pretty good for a pow day. And then I've got my keys on the lanyard and my wallet tucked away in this little pocket. Zip that back up, let's keep riding. Alright guys, we're back in the van. Solid day at Keystone. I've been riding for the past three days now. I've ridden 70 miles and over 60,000 vertical feet, so I'm exhausted. This pack sort of surprised me. I really don't like carrying backpacks or just bags for that matter when I'm out riding, but this thing sort of went unnoticed all day, held all my stuff securely. I was kind of worried about my phone being in this front pocket here, the dedicated foam pocket. I thought that it might get a little bit too cold and kill my battery, but this is like nice and thick and padded and held battery all day, so my ski tracker was running. Overall, I'm pretty impressed with it. Thanks to the guys at Slope Mountain Gear for sending this out and allowing me to test it out for you. Not so sure I'll wear it when we're riding and filming in the park, however, whenever we get some nice powder days or I'm riding anything backcountry, chances are this thing's coming with me. So now I'm gonna pass the question off to you guys out there who ski, snowboard, and do anything like that on the mountain. What do you carry with you? Do you carry extra tools? Do you carry like first aid stuff? I'm sure a lot of you carry snacks, food, water, things like that, but 
I'm curious to see what is in your pockets when you're out there riding, so let me know in the comments down below. You can check out more info on this bag in the description down below, and that is going to be all for today. So if you are new to this channel, consider clicking subscribe. I make new videos every single week. As always, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you in the next one.